at, I think, 18 second chance points on this, and we had five. So that, that's what really killed us in the second half. And just miscommunications on the defensive side because we was away from my bench, and the bench was really helping us. We was playing D on that side of the ball. So just communication and second chance points would really killed us. Do you, do you think there's something you guys can do differently to kind of stop those runs a little faster? Yeah, it's just being more active and communicating to each other. And but that's really it, just communicating with each other instead of just not communicating, getting defensive breakdowns, not rebounding, boxing out, doing the little things. Uh, Cade, uh, I saw you pop in there. Uh, what what was it like going against Greg today? Um, yeah, it's somebody I, I played with last year. Um, you know, we won a lot of games with um, me and him built a really good relationship. So, you know, it's always fun to play against, you know, old friends and old teammates and stuff. And he played well today. Was Did you have a little more motivation against him today? Uh, I mean, I, it's motivation against every Big 12 team. You know, every every conference game is a big game. Um, and, you know, going into the break, we really wanted this win. So, yeah, it, it was definitely motivation for sure. You you got going late, but what were they doing well against you early in that game? What was that? I heard you. You got going late um, and offensively, but what was, what was Texas doing well defensively today? Um, you know, I, I think, you know, early on in the game, you know, game plan is always fresh and everything. Um, so, you know, they were, they were really locked in on defense. Um, they played well. I think, you know, as the game opened up more, uh, you know, game kind of wear off a little bit and then it's just about competitiveness. Um, you know, that's when things kind of opened up for me, but it definitely started the game off well. Awesome. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Avery. Yes, sir. Uh, next question from Marshall Scott, of Pistols Firing. Go ahead, Marshall. Yeah, Cade, they mentioned – or Jacob mentioned you getting going late again. Um, what what kind of spurs yeah, you, that – is there just a time where, where you know that you need to take over? Or what kind of spurs you getting going, especially late in games? Hey, guys, hold on a second. We're just going to need to turn you up a little bit, okay? It's got big here. All right, could you say that again? Yeah. What, Cade, what kind of gets you going late? Um, Jacob kind of mentioned it earlier. You got going late again. Is there something that spurs it? Is there just like an inner thing saying, hey, I need to take over now? What kind of – what spurs you to get going late like that? Um, I don't know. I wish – I wish I could get going earlier. Uh, but, you know, it's – again, I just kind of stay aggressive. Um, you know, don't let – you know, how the first half went kind of dictate how I play the rest of the game. Um, and I just kind of stay at it, and you know I got going later on. How do you how do you kind of dissect early struggles? Is it more more film watching uh, kind of stuff? Is that how you you know kind of get off to harder starts? Um, yeah, I, I'm, I definitely watch a lot of film on the games. Um, you know, seeing what kind of shots I'm getting and, and everything like that. Uh, but I think you know just starting off the game, putting the ball in the rim. I think you know I, I had some looks I should have made. And I just didn't knock him down. Gotcha. And then Avery, during that 17-0 run, uh, the the TV cameras kind of came to you guys, and, and Mike was kind of giving it to you in, in the huddle. What was he, what was his message there? You stay together. Don't get disruptive. And if you stay together and fight like we was fighting at the end, we was gonna put it through. Gotcha. Thanks, guys. Uh, our next question uh, will come from Ryan Breeden. Go ahead, Ryan. Yeah, Avery, you made it into the starting lineup today. There's a couple other different changes on um, that front. Where was that something that was because of that? Uh, this was this Texas consistent. I'm sorry. <laughs> say, say it one more time. Um, so, so I said that you made it into the starting lineup today. today. There's a couple other changes in that area too. Where was that because of some of the athletes in the Texas spring? Ring? His question, if you couldn't hear him, guys, was about. I would, oh, go ahead, Edward. Yeah. I would just say Coach had to put me in the starting lineup because he just 
felt like I could make a difference. Everybody could make a difference on the team, but he just called my number and I was ready to go just to do things that I do on the defensive side to help my team win and also helping Cade out with the scoring. Just doing whatever I need to do to win the ball game. That's what I'm going to do. And then you guys, yeah, it seems like it's been a little bit more added, added focus, focus last couple weeks. weeks. You guys getting to the rim, getting to the basket, that's, that's kind of been your guys' game. game. And you guys overall did very well in that area. And I wanted to ask you a little bit about free throw shooting. I know it's been something that's been a little bit, probably not in the area where you guys wanted to be today. It was, you guys went 13 to 21. I should know. Is that something that you look at as a concern? Um. Yeah, I mean, it's something, it's something that Coach has been, you know, making us really work on. Um, you know, we've been in the gym working on it. We just got to step up in the game and knock them down. Um, you know, I missed two today. Uh, and I mean, we've had, we had a couple costly ones, but, you know, it's something that we're definitely working on. Coach staff is, is definitely putting an emphasis on it. Like I said, in the game, we just got to come up and, and knock them down. And my last, last question, question, Kate, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about that exchange there, there near the middle to the end of the second and half on that, that uh, on that basket, basket that you thought you got fouled on the end one, one that you, you maybe got a little bit unhappy and got technical on. I just wanted to ask you about your perspective during that when that whole scene played out. Um, I yelled and one. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have yelled that loud. He called the tech. You know, that's how the game goes. Um, and, you know, it was, it was a one-possession game in the game. You know, giving up two free throws and the ball, you know, that's a, that's a costly mistake, so. Oh uh, yeah, that's how the game is, and and that's something I gotta try to take out. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, next question, a follow up from Jacob. Go ahead, Jacob. Kate, is there a a level of frustration you're going through sometimes around the rim with with calls not going your way? Oh uh, no, nah, I, I I just gotta put the ball in the rim. I think that's the main thing. You know, refs have a job to do. I have a job to do. My job is to put the ball in the rim. And, you know, they, they officiate how they feel. So, um, you know, I can't make them make calls. I just have to, you know, control what I can control. You know, and you guys are now 0-2 in conference play. You get a 13-day break. Is the break kind of welcome to maybe kind of regroup? Uh, yeah. I say that this break going to really help us get everybody mind focused back on the task at hand when we go against Tech at, the, at their place and just – Coming back with that dog mentality. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Marshall Scott, you are up next. Go ahead, Marshall. Yeah, Avery, we mentioned it, it's your first start today. You've had a weird start to the year, kind of. Do you feel like you're kind of still getting going, or are you? do you feel fully comfortable, I guess, with, with what, what the year's bring? Um, I'll say I'm, I'm comfortable. It's just a thing that happens in the game of basketball. You have, you have ups and downs. And I say, you just got to stay the course. And I'm just staying the course. And when it's my time, it's my time. Got you. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, last question I, ju I just have for you guys. Uh, so with a game that um, obviously the team shoots 47%, limits its turnovers, is this one of those situations that where you can take something from going on the road at the number 11 team in the country, fighting down to that finish, and see that this is kind of coming together. Do you guys feel that way, uh, specifically for UK? What are your What are your thoughts? Obviously, that, that that fight to the end kind of thing. Um, you know, we've had two one possession games now, so you know I know the Big Twelve is not going to be easy. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just staying together and, and continuing to fight throughout the game. You know, it's not it's going to be forty minutes of of a fight. Um. And so, yeah, you know, this break, you know, I think it's going to allow guys to, to kind of sit back and think on things and, you know, come back with a different mindset. And, you know, I think, I think we'll definitely figure this thing out. Um, you know, it's just small things that we have to, you know, talk about, um, drill out and things like that. But what's a long year ahead for sure.